All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to part three of the Adobe Illustrator 2019 playlist that I'm creating. Um, what we're going to do today is called a lighting effect, where we're going to learn uh, to use some CMYK values for color. We're going to add uh, lights to a 3D extrude and bevel, and then you're going to create two of your own. Okay, so here we go. What you're going to do is you're going to go to file, you're going to hit new, uh, art and illustration. We're going to change this to be inches. We're going to make this the size of a regular piece of paper, 8.25 by 11. And then you're actually going to want to change color mode to CMYK. So basically this is red, green, blue. This is cyan, magenta, yellow, and black, um, which is a little bit more accurate for color display. Okay. And, you know, you can do more with it and you can do more values with it. Um, and then we want to change our PPI, the pixels per inch, to 300. And then hit create. Okay. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to use your text tool. You're going to click down anywhere and you're going to type lighting effect, all caps. And without clicking out, you can actually just highlight this text here and we can go back into, if you don't see this stuff, you can hit characters and you'll see it in there. Um, but we want to go to the impact text. So you can just type it right in and click on it. And then we want to go to size 50. Okay. Now, with this selected, we're not going to do create outlines this time. We're not going to break it apart or anything like that. But we are going to change the fill and stroke. Okay. So the fill color, before I click on this, if I hold shift and click down, I'm going to change my fill color to be uh, 46, 3, 12, 2. So you just type these in. 46, whoops, shift, click, 46, 3, 12, 2. And then hit enter. And that will get you that color. Then you do the same thing. Hold shift and click down on this arrow and the CMYK value for the stroke is going to be 70, 8, 2, and 45. And these are just colors that I came up with that I thought looked nice. All right. Um, so we get something like this. Okay. Uh, next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to do your extrude. Oh, I'm sorry. You want to change your stroke to be 2.25. And then you're going to want to go to your effects, 3D, extrude and bevel. And we got a lot of different things that we got to change in here. Now, if you're somebody out there uh, in the abyss, out in the world, you can make this whatever you want. You should mess with the lighting. You know, there's lighting down here, however you would like. But for my students in my classroom, they have to make this first one exactly like mine. So my numbers for this one are going to be negative uh, 20, negative 20, 0, 160. So negative 20, negative 20, 0. And then the perspective is basically going to be like, Rather than it being very blocky, it's going to be like the way your eyes see things. So think about like a railroad track when, when you're standing near and not on a set of railroad tracks and you're looking down them, they look like they come to a point that's called a vanishing point, And that is perspective, uh, you know, your perspective view. So we're going to change that to be 160 degrees and then we're going to hit OK. All right. Now with this selected again, there's something important that we have to talk about. If you change from painting to automation, there's a tool in here. Oh, I'm sorry. You know what? Leave that on painting for now. That's something else I was thinking of. Um, there's something called appearance. Okay. So when you click on appearance, you'll see when I have this selected that there is a 3D extrude and bevel on there. If you don't like something that you did on this, you either have to hit control Z to back that up, or you're going to have to go into appearance and click on 3D extrude and bevel in order to change whatever you wanted to change. What you don't want to do is if you don't like it, add another 3d extrude and bevel because what will happen is it'll say oh do you sure you want to apply a new effect and then you know you set it up however you want different lighting you hit okay and you'll see that it does look different and it does change but it actually slows the software down so i'm on a pretty good computer here and when i go to move this you'll see that it takes time to actually pick up on what i'm trying to do so you don't want to have two 3d extrude and bevels is what i'm trying to say so if I hit cancel, that's the one that I want, and this is the one I don't want, I can hit the trash bin on that. Also, well, I guess I erased the wrong one. That's okay, though. Uh, hit the trash bin on it. Okay, so we'll go back in there again, but the point is that you don't want to put two on there. You either want to edit the one that's on there by clicking on that link, um, or you want to click on it and hit delete and then redo it all together. So that was negative 20, negative 20, 0, 160. All right, so we get something like that. Um, now, going back in and editing, there is some lighting that we want to do down here. I think our extrude depth is going to stay at 50. Um, but the lighting we want to do, we want to have the lighting set at 100, 0, 100, 125. So 100, 0, 100, 100, 
25, okay? Now, what do these things do? What does light intensity do? If you highlight over it, it'll tell you what it does. It specifies the brightness of the selected light. Uh, your ambient light controls the brightness of all surfaces uniformly. So you guys can hover over these to see what each thing does. And I would suggest hitting OK and actually seeing what those different things do as you change these numbers, okay? So you'll see now when I hit OK, this looks very black because we didn't, we, yeah, we changed the values of the lights, but we didn't change the positions of them. So go back into 3D Extrude and Bevel. Um, you're going to go on here. And what we want to do, we have one light set up right now where if it's off to the right a little bit, you'll see it starts to light up my object. But what I really want is I want to, and this is just for this one, you guys are going to create whatever you want for your next two. But I want to put a light somewhere in the top right like that. And then I want to hit this for add a new light. And with that selected, I want to send that one to back. So move selected light to back of object. So you'll see that it drops behind it. Then when you hit OK, you can see the back is nice and lit up. And this is pretty much what I'm looking for right here. Okay. So that is the lighting effect. This is another quick one. It's only been six, seven minutes. Um, I think that's all I wanted to say. I'm looking at my own sheet here. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So now if you're in my class, you're making two of your own. Try to make it something special. You can use, you can put this effect on anything, objects, um, shapes. You can put it on text and, you know, try to have fun with it. All right. So thank you guys for watching. This was part three of the Adobe Illustrator tutorials and I'll see you guys in the next one. All right. See ya.